Very well. So, my dear friends, this session I'm looking at what we call matrices and systems of linear equation. Uh, for that matter, matrices allow us to find an elegant representation and finding solution to complex mathematical equations. Though matrices have many properties which we'll be looking at, the main thing is to see how their properties affect the discussion that we are going to have. So I expect that we'll have, or your attention will be on the properties of matrices. That is very important. Knowing these pro properties would then be easier for us to formulate large problems with matrices for easier solution. Okay, so at the end of the class, guys, I expect you to be able to know what matrix or matrices are, understand the properties of matrices. You should be able to perform some matrix operation, i.e. how to add matrices, how to subtract matrices, what is a transpose of a matrix, and how do we do matrix multiplication. Then to maintain, you should be able to know what we call an identity matrix and an inverse matrix. Once we do that, we should be able to transform a set of linear equation into a matrix form. And that will help us. So, like I said, you can get this slide, this lecture from this, the first textbook. Winston and Gobeck, you can get them from the discussion that we'll be having. Therefore, what is a matrix? Okay. And to say a matrix, we are looking at if I'm able to arrange some numbers in a rectangular array or arrange them in specific arrangement, which is the same as what we have on the slide, then we say that that kind of representation is what we call matrix. Means that if I have two, four, four and six, we say that this is an arrangement of what? A matrix. We can also have this form of what? Arrangement. Or we can have this form of what? Arrangement. These three arrangements are what we call matrix because the numbers have been arranged in a rectangular array. Therefore, we need to understand what we call rows and columns anytime we are arranging what? Matrix. So as you see here, I'll try to use the cursor to move along. You see that I've indicated that on this guy 243, we call it row. Just like those of us who are familiar with Excel, Excel has rows and what? Color. So if I have here, this is a row. I will name the first row as row one. If I come to five, four, six, that is going to be row two. If I look at six, one, eight, that is row three. As long as we have rows, then we should also have what? Column. Columns are arranged in the vertical what? Manner. So two, five, six, four, four, one, three, six, eight are what we call column. So I have here column one. This is column one. This is column two. This is column three. Okay, so in any given matrix, you should be able to identify the number of rows and number of what columns. As we have here, this is row one, this is row two, and this is row what, three. So I have what, three what, rows. Then this is what, column one, column two, 
and column what? Three. This becomes column one, column two, and column what? Three. It also means that I have three what? Columns. And by way of definition, I should be able to tell the dimension of the matrix. Means that because I have three rows and three columns, this kind of matrix, let's say it is called matrix what? A. Matrix A by dimension has three, three rows and three mm -hmm. what? Columns. So it's a three by three dimension. Fantastic. What about this guy here? I have row one, column one, column what? Two. So this is called what? A one by what? Two dimension. You can do the same for this guy here. Row one, row two, row three. Column one, column two, column three. So this is a three by three dimension. Similarly, this is what? Row one, row two, column one, column two. This is a two by two dimension. So note that for every matrix that you draw or you write, you be able first of all to define their dimensions. Then let me subject to you, submit to you that every column has what we call element. The elements are the numbers that you see being what arranged. Each number or each element is in a row and at the same time a column. So let's look at this side here. I've defined the dimensions already. So I said that every element in any given matrix belongs to a row and a column at the same time. Therefore, if I define, let me use this guy here. If I have matrix A, giving us A, I, J, I represent row, J represents what? Column. Therefore, this is my first element. It means that element A belongs to row one, column one. Please note that we always identify the row first before the column. So row one, we have here, click on the audio to allow video and the audio. Uh, who is this? Uh, I see a do Nanabuachi. Is it that you cannot hear me? Betilda, can you all see and hear me as well? Yes, please. I can hear you. Okay. So let's proceed. Let's proceed. So as I said, each element belongs to a row and what? A column. So we have yes. A11, A12. Means that this is a, an element. It's in row one, column what? Two. If I come here, another element is in row what? Two, column what? One. one. All the way to this guy here, which means that A is in row M, column what? N. Means that every element you write must be identified within a row and what? Column. So let's look at this. A33. A33, that is what? Element 8. 8 is in what? Row what? 3, column what? 3. What about this 4? What row and what column can we find this? You can answer if you want to, but try not to make row noise. Two, row 2, column row one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't bastardize us. Row one, column two. <laughs> two, column two. Two, column two. Row two, it's, column two. So four is in row two, column what? Two. Column two. That. This four is, I'm not talking about this four. Last one, let's look at six. The six here. Which row, which column? Row three, column two. Column two. Column column two. Column one. Row three, 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 column three, column three, column three, column three, column three, three, column three, 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 three,
Okay. Please Hello. note that in uh, writing your matrix, I don't understand. You, you you are confused. Did you mm -hmm. just enter the class? Uh, <laughs> no. Guys, I said every matrix yeah, has rows. Two columns. And column. These are rows. These are columns. Mm, okay. So if I have okay. five, which is an element, five is in row, row two, two, column one. Two, column one. Column one. Yeah. Oh, okay. One is in what? Row three, column two. Three, column two. Good. That's what we are trying to do here. So that if I give you a problem to write a matrix, you